many cats, this is especially for you. So, I'm no expert, but this is my job's yard. And they have this beautiful azalea bush, which is huge. And I remember there was a shed here, and it was just this big uh, fuchsia azalea bush that I just loved so much. And it has continued to grow, but it has bindweed like nobody's business. Bindweed, the, the ugly, nasty cousin of uh, morning glory, chokes out this bush. And I'm sure this looks familiar to you. Um, it has white flowers, as you said, and they open in the morning, like you said. But other than that, it just, it, it's like strangles this bush, so much so. But this is all new here. The center is regrowing. I come out here and I pull handfuls of the bindweed off when, when it's in the active growing season. Right now it is all dead. But it'll be a struggle again because it just chokes out this bush. I don't know how it got so infested with bindweed, but it smothers this bush. And I have to come out here and like pull handfuls of it out. And this azalea bush is just very, very um, resilient. Chunks of it is dead. Like, see, and I can uh, bring my... um. Um, snips and cut it off and it needs to be pruned and it, it needs a lot of work but again this is work <laughs> this is not my house but uh the bindweed it it just smothers this plant and um yeah but uh yeah so I just wanted to make this video just to just to say see like big hunks of it is dead but there's a lot of life behind there uh and I'll keep an update on this bush because it is quite glorious when it's in bloom and it's full of um, blossoms but the bindweed is just ridiculous and there's no way to like spray for it or you just have to pull it out whenever you see it and stay ahead of it but bindweed is it's, uh, the ugly cousin of morning glory which is quite nice but that stuff the devil I need to start doing some research to see where it came from originally but I see a lot of people are plagued with it and um, suffer from from it and as I said it will literally make you want to pack your bags and leave because to have a great garden and then you're just perpetually having to pull this stuff out it's no fun but peace and blessings and happy growing